the challenges this year are, aren't just going to be uh, of the physical type. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, mental and uh, emotional exhaustion as well. You know, the long distances between checkpoints and pulling the sleigh and having to maintain that piece of equipment, and manage that other piece of equipment. Uh, I think it's going to wear on us. I think it's going to be tough to control. This is our fourth Canes Quest and all of them are challenging in different ways. This one though, the distances and the time between like layovers has been impressive. I mean, what, 56 hours or something we're coming in now? I mean, I, I've never been up for that long. Without, we haven't slept yet since Monday morning. We got up at 7 to leave Kujwak. You know, we signed out at 2 and we've been moving ever since. We were riding down the George River and uh, literally we, all of us were so tired that we stopped and one of the guys, I think it was Gary Travers, said, you know, let's build a fire and take a nap. Well, you know, we didn't take out any camping gear. We just we built a fire out in the woods and sat around it in the snow and, you know, you kind of dove. I, mean, I never took my helmet off, so it wasn't like it was a, a good night's sleep. How's it feel? I feel pretty good. He's a little banged up, but it feels good to be uh, to win. It certainly does. Four years waiting. We worked hard today, but uh, yeah. It we came. wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this guy. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know I dislocated my knee on the transmission line. I said, race is over. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Dr. Nipping, fix me up. <laughs>